So I'm recording on a, on a local secret up there, see ya. And we sponsor them. Yeah, we do it all for free. All for free. You gotta give back, haven't you? You gotta give back. Yo, Rick again here, UK Spark. I'm just gonna do a little video on my little workhorse, my van. Uh, show you how I work. It's the way I've worked on all my vans. I've got a picture of my old van. I've pretty much got the same, but that was a Vivaro. This is a Ford Transit custom. So let me show you. So here she is, the beast. Two litre. TDI. You know? I like the colour. Alloys. I mean, I, the other day, someone going to the back of me, even though I went in my van, it was a scrap metal truck. Very, I was gutted about that. Absolutely gutted. It ruined my week. It ruined my week. Well, then I've got the uh, the tube, the Rhino tube. I've got the Rhino ladder, ladder store at the top. Put a lock on it. It's a little bike lock. I've got my deadlocks on the side. Brilliant these. Recommend this one to everyone. And on the back, there we go. I'll show you inside the cab. Where's the cab? I had a red box up there to write on. Obviously radio, touchscreen, automatic. Can't beat an automatic. Especially if you're lazy like me. You don't get that clutch cramp foot when you're in, the, in towns. A nice little, it's my office but that keeps all my paperwork in. I do want the big one, not the one that's like Nick Mundy's got. The uh, Velocity van bag. Uh, I will. I think I'm going to get one of them soon. It does look good, and it quite looks quite handy. Uh, steering wheel lock. Always put that on at night because you hear you hear these stories of people just getting in the van and be able to drive off. Now for the back. Here we go. So you just set up the metal racking. Put this unit shut up. And I can keep my, my ladders in. My airframes. I've got my over steps over there at the back, which I'll show you. So the bits I keep. Bulkheads, screws, where goes, first aid kit, laser, just bits and bobs up there. I keep all that my brake so I'm gonna put a dim rail across all this so I can see a little bit better. Sockets, you know, I've got all my cables here. Jacket, Snickers jacket up there. So how long it's been there? I've got a spider with on that. Cork, masks. This is my uh, PPE bag. I've got my harness in there. Ear protection, I've got gloves. I've got masks in there. Just I need to have when I'm working on sites, especially commercial sites. You know, you, you, it's got, you've got to be PPE'd up. Anyway. Well, that's the back of that. I always keep this bit clear, especially when doing ovens and stuff like that. I want to be able to get it in, get it out. I don't want to be messing around, shuffling, shuffling stuff around when I've got to uh, get stuff in and out. I'll just show you around the other side now. There you go. Those old steps. Let's keep them up there. Holding don't go anywhere then. Have them upside down because it just fits, fits better there. So that's where I keep up that. Some of my, uh, just the odd bits, you know, I've got a wonder lead down there. Got a tail pack, a bit of plumb bits, some down lights, rubble sacks. So I keep all my uh, tools, power tools anyway. A few batches in there, just chuck them down there. My drawers, a bit of everything really. But this one I need to sort out, it's just full of drill bits. It's everything. <laughs> so, yeah. 
No, just a bit. We uh, no chasing out stuff. Don't keep them in my bag too heavy. Plug tops, sway goes, tie wraps, cranks, labeler, some more hot ferrules, hot tie wrap, foam, oh, fire sealant. I'm doing the boards. I think every electrician's got one of these now, one of these benches. Brilliant, brilliant. Batteries, some metal mass. Keep hold of them, they're great going in it. That's what's that's what's broken them. Shut them up so they put a new pen up is just quicker. Tongue, you know, just pulling in stuff. One of these to kneel on from working outside, even though I've got pads in my pants, you know, I still have that. That's great. We're doing boards. Went on the on the market, it was like 2 99 Brilliant, and it holds my weight, and I'm 19 stone. I can stand on that. And I, it, it, you know, at first I thought, oh, I'll break that, but no, it's lasted. It's about two years old. I will go through these. I'm gonna do some more videos of these bags. Uh, I've got Muva radio. There's a Bluetooth on it. It's brilliant. We're on site. So that's my test bag. So that said, I've got. I'm gonna do some videos on these. I did just. I did buy the uh, backpack. Uh, but the lad I work with, he's bought it. I'm going for the wheelie one now, which I'll do a video on that. Um, so we're back onto the uh, the Tech LC. Absolute beast of a bag, to be fair. I, I, I didn't really need to buy the backpack, but you know, it got all my stuff in. Everything I pretty much need. And then I've got the uh, my pouch down here. Just running in pouch, but then I got everything in that as well. It's actually a brilliant van. It's it's a holds everything I need. But as I say, this Unistruck, if you want you're struggling to find a place to put your, your big stuff, your big steps, and your airframes, you don't want top of the van. I recommend just putting some of this in there. I've got a picture. I'll put it on the video and show you what I did with my old one. That was a wooden that was wooden racking, um, which I've give to another lad now yeah it, it does it does its job it does its job it's a beautiful van i can't recommend them anymore and you know it looks professional you know it's it looks professional i cleaned her midweek after work she's she's still pretty clean yeah brilliant brilliant piece piece of kit this this is where it all starts from. This is your workhorse. There she is. Thanks for watching. Just let us know what you think of the video. Cheers.